you just found out that someone in your family is disabled and may have to rely on government benefit programs such as Medicaid to support them through their period of disability maybe for the rest of their life. And you've also heard or read about these things called special needs trust and you want to know if a special needs trust is one of the tools that you need to help you. My name is Jonathan Alper and I'm an a, a asset protection and a Medicaid planning attorney in Orlando, Florida. And today I want to explain a little bit about what is a special needs trust. A special needs trust is a trust agreement that includes a section or, or provisions in the trust agreement that will provide for a disabled beneficiary but not disqualify them from any government assistance. In fact, the trust agreement should state that there will be no distribution to the beneficiary if the distribution may supplant government benefits and therefore disqualify the benefits. So there's two types of special needs trust you may hear about. The first kind of trust is a third party trust. That's the trust that's set up by a, typically a parent or grandparent but that includes provisions that say that if any of their heirs at any time require government benefit assistance for disability, that no trust distributions will be given to them that may disqualify them from assistance. The other kind of special needs trust is called a first party trust. This is a trust that is established by the disabled person and yet provides them income from the trust and protects the assets in the trust. This is a recent development because up until 2017, a disabled person could not set up a trust for themselves. But today, a person could put income or divert income into this trust, have the trust income come back to them to help them uh, supplement or give additional benefits that uh, in addition to what they may get from the government but will not disqualify them. The one thing about these kind of self-settled trusts or trusts set up by the disabled person, after that person dies any money left in the trust goes back to the state agency that provided assistance up to the amount of assistance they have received during their lifetime. So you don't want to put too much money in, in a self-settled or first party trust because if at the end that money's coming back to the state. If you have some more questions about how trust could help you or a family member uh, get government assistance but not disqualify for them from assistance, I want you to call me because special needs trusts are often an important part of Medicaid planning. My phone number is 407-444 0404 and we're here to help.